101 R Smith here, and today we're targeted and ready to fire as we look at the no grade 1100 Cheritum Gundam. The Cheritum Gundam is the upgrade and replacement to the Dynamis Gundam from Season 1 of Double O. Dynamis Gundam was created with a lot of the improvements, including the GM bits and a new targeting system. As in the story, The original lock on Stratus, Neil Delandi died trying to get his revenge in the end of season one, and his twin brother Lyle takes up the mantle of lock on Stratus to try to change the world with celestial being. This is my second double O no grade kit. The Arios was a good kit, it had its flaws for its time, and obviously some flaws are going to be shared here, but let's see what they can do. You know, Arios was a flying type Gundam, let's see what we can do with a sniper. Opening up the box and opening the plastic gives you these runners. Get this nice B plate. You get a lot of green for the GM bits. Two F plates. You get some D plates for some inner frame. Not much, but it's st still there for joints. Another D plate. You get your A plate. Fair amount of yellow, green, red, and white. Twin E plates. Both white. A C plate here, and then you get a clear plate here. With this Cheritum Gundam, you actually get a stand to use for the GM bits as well as plastic for some of the parts. I will be painting these, some of these to make them more accurate. And then you get two polycap plates. That's the main one. Then you get the secondary one. I haven't figured out what they're used for yet, but we're gonna find out. Into the box we go to get the manual for the Cheritum Gundam. Strange, different box art. Different when we got box art. And it shows you what parts you need to do, how many steps you need to take. Then we open up to the middle and we get some of the line art here. And some descriptions on the weapons, such as the beam pistols, the bits, and a description of both the Cheritum Gundam and Luck on Stratus. Kind of weird though, this isn't color like the Arios Gundam in manual was, but whatever. And then we get a nice line art of Cheritum Gundam. And finally, in the back, you get a color guide which shows you all the colors that you need. So if you want to fully paint this and customize it. So, there we go. It's time to build. Lord and behold, we have the 1100 Caridum Gundam. The head is on a ball peg with a poly cap, so it can't go too much. It can go up and down, a little side to side, a little bit, 360. Just gotta be mindful. Arms can go. Up and down, 360 as well. Arms 
have a double jointed bend and plus you have the double o wrist so you can get a nice bend and you can even move around the GM beds on the side it's on a poly cap well hinge the rifle is on the poly cap chest is a little bit hollow can't go 360 then you get a little crunch, but that's about it. Legs. They're double jointed. Be mindful of the back skirt. And then the legs. A little bit of a hinge. With the Keratom Gundam, you get the two fists, but then you also get two other holding hands and then you also get an expressive hand which will come in handy a bit later after switching the hands you now have the GM pistols which he can hold up pretty well despite the fact that there's absolutely no peg in them for the hands, but he holds them up pretty well. Next, next we have the GN sniper rifle in its short range mode, which again he holds up without a peg, no problem. And now we have Cheritum Gundam sniping in the air, targeted and ready to fire. You can actually hold this up holds pretty well. This part in the back definitely helps. And then you can actually see that he actually has the locking sensor on his v on, which was a custom painting job, but he can do it. He can hold on to it pretty well. One cool bonus that the Keratom Gundam comes with is this action base which acts as a rack for the GM bits. You can put up to all 8 GM bits on this rack and use it as a defensive shield. So when he's sniping, he's protected just like in the show. I really think it's pretty cool that they added that. They really didn't have to, but they went the extra mile. And finally, we have Keratom Gundam in its trans end mode. It actually comes with a visor that you can paint to the correct color, which makes it into its trans end mode, just like in the show. And obviously, it's not going to work because it's not a full red color, but it does its best, and I think it's functional. After putting together the Cheridum Gundam, I feel between Arios and Cheridum, Cheridum just went out just a bit more. I feel that Cheridum came with a lot more outside of the box. The GN Sniper, the pistols, the bits, and even the stand really won me over with this kit because it's just... I feel that I'm getting more bang with my buck than I did with Ariel's, despite the fact that they are pretty much the same price, but Cheridum just gives you just that extra more that you say it's worth it. And it's just as solid as Ariel's too. So when I give it my final thought and my rating, I'm giving Cheridum Gundam a 7 out of 10. I feel it's a good kit. It has one or two bad stickers and a few bad num marks, but otherwise, you're putting maybe $20, $25 into a no-grade kit from 2009. You get what you get. Most of it is mainly held on by polycaps, but the presentation is pretty well done. And as of right now, it is the best version of Cheridon Gundam that you can get. It's a great representation of the Gundam, and it's gonna look really good on your shelf when you get the whole Celestial Bean team all together. So, this is 101R Smith, and I'm heading out. I'll see you later. Peace!